and welcome back to Song Reaction Analysis with your girl JVB. How are you guys doing today? Change of scenery! Woohoo! I'm in a new place at the moment and there is a star mirror here, which I really love. I'm also known as Pink Star, so I'm digging it. Um, I've been traveling again and yes, I'm just enjoying my time here in upstate New York at the moment. Lots of exciting things coming this month. No music, no music video, all exciting things. But first things first. And in case you don't know who I am yet, I'm a singer, songwriter, music producer, composer, vocal performance coach, and I love doing reaction videos for you guys. I recently did Sabaton Night Witches, but I didn't do the long extended version. So... We need to fix that. With that said, that's what we're going to do today. I wanted to thank you for being here on my channel, for your support. If you have not yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button, the notification bell, and definitely the like button. It helps the algorithm a lot and it helps you supporting the channel. So with no further ado, let's, let's do the right version. And I love Sabaton. It's one of the channel's favorite bands. Um, I love the whole message and that they really educate us on history with their videos and with their music and I really admire their songwriting and their whole concept. It's just so refreshing to me and I'm glad I got to know them. Thanks to you guys. Let's go straight into it. The Germans are resting behind the lines of the Eastern Front. Their tents in neat rows. All is in order in the quiet and still of the night. It's cold, and the winter snow crunches under the jackboot of a guard. Looking up into the sky, the snow starts to drift down. It's peaceful here. Was that a noise from the sky? No, it's just the wind. Suddenly, piercing the still of the night, there's an otherworldly scream, and a whoosh as a dark form speeds by. And was that a woman's laughter in the distance? There are no engine sounds, and the suddenly fearful German soldier loses his footing and whispers under his breath, Die Nachthexen. The world is all at once a bloom of fire and ash, and two more dark forms pass without a sound. Hearing the whooping and celebration of these supernatural creatures, the guard shakes himself from his fear and calls out, Die Nachthexen! Die Nachthexen! The Night Witches! In the sky, above, three planes of the soon-to-be-famous 588th Night Bomber Regiment, their engines now running, turn east for home. Time to rearm and refuel for another mission. Coming into land, they're greeted by their commissar, Yevdokia Reshkevich. The young girls that form the pilots and navigators are between the ages of 17 and 26. They are desperate to take the fight to the Germans and have traveled from all over Russia to join the all-women regiments. The 588th is where the least skilled of all the women are placed, but that didn't stop them from carving their name in history. In the early days, they were largely ridiculed by the Soviet men. Given men's uniforms that were too big and shoes all of the same size, the women did the best they could with the clothes, making them fit with belts or filling the large men's shoes with stuffing. The equipment they were given was woefully out of date. The Polykarpov PO2 was a two-man trainer, underpowered and made of cloth and wood. These old string bags were nicknamed crop dusters, or even worse, sewing machines due to the noise their tiny engines made. But the women of the 588 ignored the taunts, and despite the odds, turned the plane's shortcomings to their advantage. The planes at maximum speeds were far below the stall speeds of any of the German fighters. Giving them a tight turning circle, they were almost impossible to hit. They were susceptible to small arms fire and anti-aircraft guns, so their strategy was to attack in threes, with a navigator in each plane. At her signal, the pilot would cut the engines and swoop in slowly, silently, dropping their bombs, dealing death from above. Unexpected, undetected, stealth perfected. If necessary, the other two would draw fire from the fighters or from the ground. They slept during the day and rose at dusk to take their vengeance on the invaders. This unnatural bravery and their stealth tactics earned them their title, the Night Witches. I had no idea about this. 
That's why I love them so much. Like I, I didn't know about that. Wow, how brave. And you know, that just shows how resilient women are. We are very resourceful. We are very flexible. And we just make the most women, we make the best out of every situation and we don't let men let us down. <laughs> um, and I'm not a man hater, trust me, I'm not. Um, but I love this story. I think this is so powerful. This is such an empowering story. I didn't know about this. Let's go back to here. Wow. Yes, this makes a huge difference. Bravery and their stealth tactics earned them their title, the Night Witches. The German ace, Johannes Steinhoff said, we simply couldn't grasp that the Soviet airmen that caused us the greatest trouble were in fact women. <laughs> These women feared nothing. Oh my God, this all makes so much more sense now. God, this is so much more powerful now. I see now why you guys said that. Oh my God, yes. Everything makes so much more sense. I have chills. How brilliant is this to use your music to tell these stories, they're real stories. It's edu they should teach this in school. They should actually, Sabaton should be like in history class. Screw the history teacher, just use Sabaton. <laughs> this is just, I'm blown away and it's so crazy. Like, I mean, I can't even imagine. Like we, we live such a good life. Anyway, I'm gonna continue the song, but the song is so good. I just love this song. The more I, I've only heard it now for the second time. And oh my God, it's just so hooky. It's so powerful. The words are so powerful. And so in alignment with the story that I just like really, pff, I'm getting all my history classes right now. But I really, really love their music and I think it's so powerful and it's so impactful. Um, that's all I have to say. It's a crazy story. It's just, it's so, I, I, don't, I didn't know about it. How did I not know about that? Unexpected, wings of glory, tell the story, aviation, deviation, undetected, still perfected, from the depths of hell is silence, just the spells, explosive violence, crush a night and fight perfect, that lawless mission, undetected.
32 women, both pilots and navigators, never came home. The 588th became highly decorated and respected, flying more than 23,000 sorties, dropping over 3,000 tons of bombs. 23 night witches were awarded the Hero of the Soviet Union, although they were disbanded just six months after the war and not allowed to fly in the victory parade given their planes were so slow. From 1956, after she retired from active service, their commissar Yevdokia Rajkevich took it upon herself to find the site of every single one of her girls that was downed, to mark the place and to pay her respects to each one of the incredibly brave night witches. Oh my God, I have chills. Oh my God. That was so powerful. I can't even like, wow. Music is freaking amazing. The songwriting is amazing. The story is amazing. I just love the powerful choruses. I really love when they just like, they, it's very hooky, which I am a sucker for a good hook, right? But it's also what they're saying. Like really, it just, it blows my mind almost where it's, it's not cheesy, you know, like it could easily become cheesy, but it's not. And the way they just like implement the story into the music and make that flow so perfectly, that is a skill. That is a really good skill to have. Um, and I really love the hook and it's so powerful. It's so, again, it's patriotic kind of like melody, you know, it's like a sing-along chant almost. Wow absolutely blown away even more now than before and I totally get now why I needed to see the intro before because I what I saw before was fine but I didn't quite get it I appreciate this so much and I think you know we need to honor history we need to like remember our heroes and the heroes and honestly for me it's always like about I just want like, I'm like a gypsy hippie, <laughs> like I'm a rock and roll hippie, I don't know. I just want everyone to get along and love, you know. Um, and one day hope that we don't have to have war where people have to die for no freaking reason other than higher powers, you know, instilling all of that. It's just also dumb to me. But this is about music and this is about being educated by a band that is just like badass super talented and helping it this is like needed so much and i can't get over this because i feel like how many bands do this you know and of course it's art i don't think every band should be like oh this is like for educational purposes because it's also for entertainment purposes but i really love how they really incorporate that into their music um to me that makes them just so much more valuable and i i love them even more for that so the next one is going to be enlisted i creek i hope i said that right that's going to be the next sabaton uh reaction which is a live show because i think it's time to do some sabaton live in the comments below let me know what other live shows you recommend from them and i always appreciate a link i know it's a little bit more work but like if you happen to have a link of that specific performance that you really like and think it would be a great reaction in the comments below let me know and as always i appreciate you guys being here and i want to leave you with something really positive we are so powerful and this story was so inspiring that despite of the equipment you have the skill you have all you really need is this if you have a strong purpose a reason, a path that you really want to take, that nothing can stop you. So many people have excuses. They say, oh, I don't have the right computer. I don't have the right, you know, whatever, microphone, whatever it is. And you don't need that. What you need is willpower, a dream, and perseverance. Because without that, you will never get to where you want to go. And I think patience, because sometimes, a lot of times, things just take time. It's just like planting a seed. The flower doesn't pop up tomorrow. It takes time, it takes nurturing, and it takes patience. So I want to leave you with that. Whatever you want to do, 
don't don't look for excuses just know that you can do it and start where you at and then as you progress you add to what you need you will you will get that it will be better and it will improve but the main thing is to get started and to not wait for the perfect time for the perfect place for when you have all the money when you have this I hear people say this all the time and I have the money I'm gonna do this when I have the love that I'm gonna do this and it's like no do this now and the money will come the love will come the whatever you want will come but you gotta get started anyway I want to leave you with that I love you guys so much I will see you in the next reaction and if you haven't yet if you forgot hit that subscribe button notification bell and the like <laughs>